Hey everyone, I recently did a post on the blog about uh, VBScript and calling a function from another file. Now, oddly, it was, or it has become one of the most popular posts on the blog, and which is pretty good because it's not really a blog about VBScript necessarily. Um, but it's a common problem that people have. And what we're looking at here on screen is an example of the code. Now, the blog post hopefully is fairly straightforward. But just to make sure, again, because money, so many people seem to hit this problem, I just thought I'd have a quick walkthrough of what the code is and show you where you can get the blog post and where you can pick up a little zip file with the two files, the two example files in. And in fact, I'll, sh I'll show you how I've used this as well. So what we're looking at here is you know, the main file, and I think I called it something like you know, caller script dot VBS. And what you do is to put this code mainly in your main file. So if you were creating uh, a series of files, you know this would be your master controller file. And then I'm sure you can imagine what you're seeing here is we're telling VBScript to include, call into memory, a bunch of other VBScript files that contain methods, functions, classes, whatever we've got. Uh, you know, long strings of text. It could be anything that we need. It includes it in memory, and then we can call functions, methods, classes, subs, and so on from those files as and when we need them in our script. In that way, you can create a master control script that's very cut down. You don't have to include all the code that you would have put into, uh, or that you will put, I should say, into these extra files. Uh, you don't have to include them in the main body of the script, which obviously keeps things a lot tidier. So let's just have a quick walkthrough. You can see here we've declared a sub and we've called it include and it takes the parameter of your file. Uh, we've declared some variables here. I've followed the convention of putting O in front of anything that's an object and S in front of anything that's a string and just put them on separate lines for clarity. And as we come down, we say we set the variable we're declaring called O, file system object, and I'm sure you've seen this construct before. So we're saying for for our object, us, yep, our, our object FSO, uh, create an object called scripting dot file system object. And again, this is you know straight out of the uh, VB script um, manual. It's, this is nothing new for us. We create another variable object file being read in. And what we're doing here, we're looking to pull in a file and read it into memory. So you know, with the dot, uh, sorry, zero, um, <laughs> object FSO, which is create an object, a scripting file system object. Open the text file, we call that method, open the text file on this. And the text file is your file and adding VBS on the end. And this allows us just to declare a bunch of file names without having to put dot VBS, my other file dot VBS, my dot dot VBS, etc. So, uh, a nice little way, as you know, you can concatenate uh, references or um, strings using this little uh, construct here. So we call it in, we say call in your file dot VBS, and that's the method that gets included here. <coughs> Excuse me. So when we call the include sub, sorry, not a method, it's a sub. When we call the include sub, we need to pass it a parameter, and here it is include and the parameter is my sublib dot vbs so you see the way that connects that's what it does and when it calls that when it calls my sublib in include my sublib it goes through this process then of then opening the text file opening a text file and assigning the contents i.e. reading all the contents dot read all into the the large string which will obviously be called file contents and then the file being ready and close it that's all we're saying so create the object open whatever's been specified read it all in to this variable here and then close it and then make the contents of that file that's been read in now assigned obviously to this variable s file contents make it execute execute you know globally executable so it looks like a lot, and there's a lot of, you know, I always get, you know, you see the points and the, the method calls and all the rest of it. But what this is doing is pretty straightforward, and, you know, this is just closing it, 
This is just reading it all in and assigning it to the sfile contents variable and this is creating, creating a new object and calling in whatever uh, the file is that you want opening the text from. So then what we need to do in that in the body of this you know, controller script is call call the sub and we call it by using its reference name include and obviously in this case we need to pass it a value which in this case is you know it's assigned to your file but we say it's my sublib dot vbs now this is what my sublib sorry so sublib I just mean sub library so I'd have you know a whole bunch of subs down the page here and then I might have one for methods and classes etc and to create these library files and all this one does if I just zoom out a little bit here is it's a standard message box and if we can see this message if you can see this message you can yeah you just call a method in another file obviously because if we can see this method we called it in another file because it's in this file not in this one but we've just called it from here and that's all you need to do in Ruby we have this we have an include method and we have this require relative and we're doing the same thing here but Ruby just does this we don't have to write all this code obviously somewhere in the background Ruby has this kind of code but here I can just as a you know, scripter just say uh, you know I require for example uh, the uh, adventure this is what this means adventure the hero generator um, uh, script file so here I call in so I've, I've called in you know this hero generator just like I did to call in sublib but all I want is a method called character sheet generation and the way that I put comments here is to say in brackets that method lives in add hero generator just so you know so we call in add hero generator and we call a method from it and that's all we're doing here and then obviously in this file it's you know then all of the uh, the actual uh, adventure co adventure um, coding sorry I just read my scrap code there I realized I didn't get rid of that uh, and so on All right and then this just goes on to do a bunch of case statements we've got some test items here etc so that's what this does so you need two files the controller file well in fact strictly speaking the controller file is just this and then you decide what files you want to call in and what methods you want to use and then the files that contain all the stuff that you want to use okay now if you go to the blog starreath.blogspot.co.uk or .com in fact works as well you'll find this post vb script caller function whoops that was clever and it references those two things caller module and my sublib and you'll see the code that we've just talked through here there's a few comments because this is copied from the actual files that are published and if you hit the downloads area so uh, of my my website sorrys.co.uk blog downloads you will see there's a zip file method from another file .vbs in fact in the uh, various other posts about vbscript and ruby if you go to tags and just look at vbscript for example uh, call a file oh, whoops call a function in another file you know, the email signature generator, simple string comparison, that's where I keep the files that I uh, say you can download. So here's a string comparis comparison, here's the email generator in a zip because it's got a couple of files, etc. Alright, so go and have a look at the website, sorrys.co.uk. Uh, sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorrys.blogspot.co.uk. There is a link from the main website as well, uh, which, here we go if you go on the main website and hit blog you'll get to it uh, but I digress files are available in the blog downloads directory and oops, click the right one and well that's it that's what I wanted to walk through All right, simple enough but really really useful alright I hope you find that useful If remember if you need any VB scripts putting together or you want a video about something just give me a shout and I'll see what I can do